this is Kevin Gamertag Mantle. I'm bringing you some footage from the Gears of War campaign. I'm playing it through in the arcade mode, which can have up to four people playing, and it's score-based, and you build up a multiplier as long as you guys don't die on your team and you just keep killing stuff. That's what's up there in the top left. And the footage has a few problems in this beginning, but I wanted to show it because partially it makes the people I'm playing with look like idiots and makes me look better by comparison. But also because we're fighting the Gunkers, which are my least favorite part of playing the campaign. Uh, right now in the arcade, I'm playing it on normal, but I beat the whole thing on hardcore. And it wasn't too bad. Your teammates are good at reviving you when you make mistakes, but this part was brutal. Because he only throws that little mortar strike that he just hit my teammate with at you. So it really gets you in trouble, and sometimes when your teammates are reviving you, they don't get there right away. They revive you just in time for you to get hit by another one. And you've just got to be timing the rolls right to escape from it, which you'll see coming up because all my other teammates are dead. Uh, key for fighting the Gunker, don't get close. He has that little extendo arm thing that just knocks people down. And the, uh, the death mortar that you have to roll out of the way of. I don't know why my teammates couldn't figure that out. It's pretty simple. But they don't really seem to do it. They keep getting down a lot and running right up next to that guy and just getting killed multiple times. There, that guy is clearly the target and he just lets it drop right on him. And you can just see my teammates moving in too close. Here's another one of the bad guys that you kind of have to know how to fight. Sometimes the Lambent Drudges will transform with the arms. Any of the arms, or if they get the tall head that shoots out, if you shoot those, it'll blow them up quicker and just take care of them. There, you see the teammate ran up right next to the Gunker again and got killed. And they just kept going down. It's pretty easy to avoid, but they just didn't know how to do it. Um, and you can see in all the times I'm playing, I'm going to be marking people a lot, throwing that target up there. First of all, it's usually who I'm shooting at, and that way my, or hopefully my teammates will shoot at that target as well, so we can get them down faster. And even if they don't, or if I can't put target or shots on them and they do, It'll allow me to get points from them killing him anyway. So we changed up to later in the game. This is one I played and we got a huge score on. My team was playing fairly smart. Plus it's just you laying into these horde guys running at you while you're up on the wall. I think this is the beginning of chapter 3. No, act 3. And then they have the chapters inside. I keep forgetting which way they did it around. I don't know why it makes sense this way, but I kept forgetting anyway. But this beginning right now, I'm going to be sitting here in this turret, and you just lay into these guys, especially once they get the bigger ones up. And it's quite easy to do until they do start focusing fire on me, but then I just bail out. And before this one, it gives you plenty of ammo, so you get like a full Lancer. I've got a boom shot that's got a bunch of ammo as well. And the rest of the footage is going to be from this chapter of the game as well. I'm going to skip to different parts just so you can see more of what's going on and how fun or how kind of insane the scores can get when you just, because you have really well like, defensible positions against these bad guys. There I'm getting attacked by the Reaver rockets, but the sentry can take care of it pretty well as long as there's some other people shooting at. Here I've got the boom shot out. A little tricky to use at times, or more when it's like an actual flat surface, but here where I'm shooting down onto people it makes it a lot easier to use. And I'm going to use it a lot more effectively in the, I don't know, in some, I think the second set of clips from this level you're going to see there, I'm, you know, my Call of Duty instincts where I'm like, I'm on ammo, it'll automatically change my gun for me, but got to remember it doesn't do that for me. Here's, I'm still kind of crappy at throwing grenades. Uh, I'm getting better at it. You'd think I'd be able to handle it a lot easier since it tells me where to go, but it's still, there's still kind of the trick of, Getting the hang of how it bounces and how to angle it exactly right. And the kind of predicting how the bad guys are going to move. So here's from later in this one. Now you're just going to just kind of keep getting pushed back in the uh, base and getting different defensible positions. And at this point we kind of had trouble. Not really. A lot of us go down at different times. But it's not really tough. And I think depending on how well you do, they're... There I get a nice double and a down, and there I get a four piece with the boom shot because that thing is awesome. 
And up there, they're laying down fire with the Vulcan, which is pretty sweet to get in this mode, but really, it's really awesome in Horde, which I'll have some clips coming up from sometime. I've been really lazy about putting up these new videos because sports. Uh, I'm from Michigan, so of course I root for all like the Detroit teams, so they're actually doing good this year, so it makes it a lot more interesting to watch. So like pretty much this whole weekend has been either Tigers or Lions. There's always some sport we're actually good at now. So it makes watching sports a lot more fun. But uh, maybe I'll talk about that later. I don't want to talk about it all in this one. But just to talk about the campaign more in general, I really... Oh, a lot of people complain about the story. Uh, I don't mind that much. I mean, it's still kind of just like a good excuse to go kill people. Here I get down because I was confused about where those guys were. Like, I thought they were just beside me, not above me. But then I foolishly stayed in the middle where those people were throwing up hooks and didn't really notice that either. Which is something I should have been able to notice because watching it through I can see the hooks hitting right in front of me, but I think when you're playing, just when I was playing the game, there's just so much going on here and you've got four people and of course nobody's talking that you just kind of miss out those small cues. So here I'm going to... I cut out some part where I was running around looking for ammo, so I went back to where I started and got the one-shot sniper rifle, and this <laughs> this thing was just so awesome on this part of the game. Those maulers can take a lot of damage, and they are just nothing against this gun. It is so much fun. But really, I'm more used to playing on Horde, and I was kind of used to that, so and that's on normal, and then once they get up, they get like higher health benefits, so really it never gets too bad in this one, and playing on normal helps as well, but they never just get the huge health increases that is what really makes them difficult to play against. And I don't really know where my teammates are right now, but really, you can just fall back and let these guys destroy the gates because there's more sections behind it. I don't think I really knew that at the time. Oh, there's a nice collateral on those guys though so that that one was really awesome which is kind of why I put this part in there so it's not really exciting just sitting there and sniping but you get to see how awesome the one shot is and really while doing this sitting really one of the first times I've jumped into arcade and really made me excited about the game mode and really helped it get up there in my estimation like before horde was clearly my favorite way to play but now I kind of like this one here's some more turret action which isn't really exciting but I've got it because uh, coming up I'm getting a huge point kill. Like, it's gonna be like a 3500 one. I don't know how impressive that is, but it's the highest I've seen. I know it's the highest in this game and I got really excited when I did it. So I just saw huge numbers pop up. Plus you kind of see in our total scores there is at the 140 and then at the bonuses I end up with like 200k. So hopefully I'll have some more gears stuff for you soon with some horde mode.